So, going back to our uh, theory, or Shen, we have things to add here. So we need some uh, sort of, uh, let's say, Uh, indicator so this will be uh, let's say checkpoint direction indicator and uh, we can have as much as we need uh, graphical designs so this is the main uh, thing that's happening in every uh, nice and intriguing uh, radar so let's uh, list what we need one of course we need a camera two we need uh, two layers uh, layers one for radar and two for work three we need the texture four map Four, we need a checkpoint indicator. Uh, five, we need a checkpoint uh, direction indicator. The next thing we need is a graphical design for adder. The next thing we want is uh, <coughs> let me see uh, camera layers, graphical design, checkpoints. Oh, a way to change a camera from rectangular to uh, circular, and this will be called, uh, I think, calling mask. Okay, and of course, we need to find a way to move a camera uh, corresponding to player. Anything else we need? Uh, hmm. Let me see. Uh, back to theory, back to schematic. And no, that's all. Now, let's see each one of these and let's see how we can do that. Of course, uh, let me sorry, choose a new color for this one. Something like this. Okay. And okay. For the camera, of course, we'll have camera, and it should be, as I mentioned, autograph.
the layers are simply uh, simply uh, adding layers in inspector inspector uh, now the texture for GUI or for map should be a plane with a map as texture in material a checkpoint indicator now this is interesting we can use any game object here okay but uh, in bootcamp case they used a particle system we'll take a look at that uh, checkpoint indicator direction now the the way the bootcamp had done this and I liked it very much was very simple they had done a plane again with texture in material Uh, the graphical design it's a plane again with texture and material that has uh, alpha for transparency now the way we want to move the camera by character it's obviously a script okay uh, we can't do uh, use uh, the parenting We'll take a look why. And uh, wait a minute, I think I've done it correct. No, 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 sorry, uh, it's not a script. Ah, my bad. It's a calling mask because it's saying the, to change the camera from rectangle to circular, okay? So it will be okay. It's, it will be a calling mask, and the way the calling mask is uh, working, it will be again a plane and uh, the texture approach. Okay. Now the last thing we want is uh, move the camera uh, by uh, character and as I mentioned uh, wrongly here it will be scripts okay now this is all we need to make a nice uh, rather but we need to organize it Okay, in some uh, categories because we will use a hierarchy so it will be a rider and it will be a game object that's empty okay it's just a placeholder Now we need this render we'll have a camera that's called uh, let's say it's radar cam I'm not sure about the naming radar cam and uh, we'll have uh, an arrow that it's uh, the indicator the direction indicator indicator for uh, let's say checkpoint and uh, if I remember correctly there will be another thing calling uh, mask and it's the calling mask plane now outside of this uh, hierarchy 
will have two different things it will be a map and obviously it's, it will be the plane and we'll have a uh, particle for checkpoint and I, sh I think that was all uh, in the hierarchy system now next uh, video tutorial we'll go back to unity and we'll take a look at how they had done this uh, nice uh, rather in unity as you can see it has a glowing effect like this here it has a indicator in here and uh, as I mentioned this uh, gradient effect happening here is uh, just a texture uh, we'll take a look at this uh, indicator here and any kind of other thing that's happening uh, for the next tutorial okay I'll see you then bye